Hello, my lovies. So, as you guys can see, of course, by the title, but with the moon card out here, we're doing the what's hidden, okay? And this what's hidden is for the collective, for everyone, all signs, okay? Um, you guys know with um, the what's hidden reading, well, any readings for that matter, they may or may not resonate, okay? Um, if it does resonate, this is your story, okay? Comment below. But you also know if it doesn't apply, let it fly. All right, my loves. So I do want to say I hope and pray that you and your loved ones are safe, well, and healthy. I want to thank you guys, as always, for supporting the channel. And um, I'm going to hop right in, okay? So um, you guys know with these readings, uh, it could be the sun and or moon sign, okay, of um, the individual that is keeping things hidden okay um this could be your sun and or moon sign as well that's coming up in the reading all right but again take it as it resonates um oh so i'm going to clarify with a different deck um as opposed to the deck that this moon card came from okay and this way we could see if the moon card comes out actually again all right um i'm gonna also clarify with the lenormand you guys know i love my lenormand <laughs> and then i'm gonna pull an archetype card as well you know to see what their energy is you know what their archetype is okay so as always, you guys know I want you to set your focus and your intentions on receiving truth and clarity, as well as on receiving the answers to any questions that you guys are holding near and dear to your hearts. All right. birthday Aries all right let's get it yeah the truth is coming out the truth I'm gonna actually put that on the side so let's see okay oh so we have the tower the ace of wands the lovers and the magician, wow. Uh-oh, 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 na-na-na. Yeah, so, sheesh. So we got three major arcanas coming out, clarifying the moon card. Um, with the tower, we have Scorpio and Aries. Could be sun or moon. With the lovers, we have Gemini. Could be sun or moon. With the magician, we have uh, Gemini again and Virgo. So it could be sun and or moon. What's at the bottom? Oh, we have the Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy, sun and or moon. Wow. Okay. So, hmm. Heavy Gemini energy here. Gemini with the lovers, Gemini with the magician, and Gemini with the Queen of Swords. So, um, this could be what a Gemini is doing or and or hiding. Or I could be talking uh, specifically to Geminis, you know, sun and or moon, either way. Um, yeah, this energy is coming up heavy. I definitely feel like um, truth is coming out, okay? Truth is coming out. Um, some of you could be receiving a truth from um, someone that's been keeping a secret, someone that's been doing something um deceptive yeah so i feel like 
you know, <laughs> what's being hidden is the fact that somebody may be trying to literally cause a tower, an ending, um, instability for you when it comes to having a passionate new start, whether it's with a lover or it's with uh, doing something that, um, you know, you're passionate about, something that is creative, something that you guys could be inventing. Um, but I feel like whatever this thing is that you guys are creating, that you're beginning, that you're uh, starting fresh, new, um, somebody is wanting to, wishing to uh, cause your downfall, okay, cause a setback for you, loss of stability, okay, for some of you, this is because you um, abandon a connection, okay, yeah, and I feel like this person, what they're manifesting is this downfall, they don't want you to have this new start, they also don't want you to know the truth, okay, yeah, for some of you, hopefully it's not your lover, but it could be a lover, okay, that is doing this behind the scenes, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like this person is manifesting this. They could be doing spell work. Yeah. And I feel like at the end of the day, it's because you utilize this sword and you cut this individual out. Or you emotionally disconnected and or detached from this individual. So now they're feeling abandoned. They're feeling um, bitter. Um, there's a energy of sadness and loneliness. Some of you separated from this individual. Yeah, they don't want what you're manifesting to come to fruition. So for some of you, this person is literally trying to um, put an end to whatever this is that you are starting fresh, starting new. Wow. This is crazy. Yeah, this person is, uh, they, 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 they a little bitter. They're a little bitter. They're a little tart. Okay. Um, I want to see this tower. So we have Aries energy with the Emperor. Some of you, this could be, um, oh, I hate to say it, but it could be your husband, your father, a baby's father, okay? Um, some of you, this could be whatever this creation, beginning, undertaking, um, adventure is. Um, it could be an enterprise. Um, some of you could be starting a business, okay? Some of you may have taken your power back, Um yeah, this person may be trying to cause this um, this downfall because they don't want you to accomplish this goal of getting married or they're trying to uh, fuck with your stability. They don't want this um, business to get off the ground. They don't want you to get married. They don't want you to get back with your baby's father, your husband. Um sheesh yeah what's at the bottom yep look at that yep five of wands energy this person is trying to cause this chaos and confusion yeah because they are envious and jealous this person may have started something as well and their shit may have felon felon hit <laughs> this person could be a felon or this person what they're doing is some felony shit but this person could have fell, okay? They could have fell from grace or they fell the fuck off, okay? But their shit fell apart, okay? I feel like this person is or was competing with you with the Five of Wands energy. And because their shit fell apart, because they're not moving forward, they see you moving forward, what you're manifesting coming to fruition, they want to, you know, try to ruffle your feathers, get under your skin, cause chaos and confusion, you know, and it's all because this person is envious and jealous. This person wants to compete with you where there is no competition. 
they don't even compare. I feel like this person, they know the truth, okay? They see you manifesting. They see your determination. They know you're a champion, successful, triumphant. And they're trying to defeat you. They're trying to secretly cause this tower because they want shit to fall apart for you. This is crazy. Yep. Let's put that here. Yep, 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 yep. Look, Six of Pentacles energy. Yeah, see, like I said, some of you cut whoever these individuals are out of your life. Okay? So there's no more equal give and take, no more reciprocity. You know, you're not giving to this individual, this situation. Okay? You're no longer being generous with these individuals. And they're feeling left out in the cold. So like I said, it could be Aries, um, sun and or moon. Yeah. Not only that, for some of you, you're gifted. And that's what this person is trying to um, stop or put an end to. They could be doing magic to try to fuck with your gifts. You know what I'm saying? Some of you literally have a sixth sense. Okay, but I definitely feel like whoever this person is, they're riddled with envy and jealousy. They're unsatisfied, they're struggling, um, and now they're trying to cause blockages, obstacles, conflict, because they're competing with you. Some of them want your spot. They can't have it, but that doesn't mean that they don't want it. Yeah. Wow, y'all. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm Let's see this Ace of Swords. What's the truth? Yep, you rejected this person and they feel like it's a missed opportunity and now they're disgusted. Yep, they're disappointed, they're disgusted, they're bitter, they're unhappy and see, they're going through a real stagnant period in their life. Like I said, things are not moving forward for this individual. Yep, what's at the bottom? Look at that, see? High Priestess, some of you are very intuitive. Some of you are aware of this. Some of you are High Priestesses. Mm -hmm. Some of you could be doing spiritual work. Some of you could be master manifestors. Okay. And this person is a master manipulator. Wow. Yep. And see, this person, they may be low-key watching you because they're seeing um, or trying to see if their spell work or whatever this is um, that they're trying to do to cause this tower. They're trying to uh, see if it worked. And they're getting more and more pissed because they're seeing that it didn't work. Only thing that's happening is they're stuck and they're experiencing those towers. Let's see. See? <laughs> what did I just say? They're stuck. Hangman. Hey, yep. The truth is that they're stuck. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Eight of Pentacles. For some of you, you could work with this individual. Or this is about the work that you do. Some of you, it's this business. Yeah. Some of you, the work that you do is uh, spiritual. Yep. Look at that. Spiritual work. Spiritual work. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. See, this person, they don't want things to work out for you when it comes to this business, the work that you do, the level up that you're having, the transformation that you're going through. Some of you, it's your gifts, okay? You could be very gifted. Oh, yeah. Yep. And look, what did I say? Bottom of the deck, eight of cups. Yeah. See, you walked away from these individuals and they can't handle it. They cannot handle it. So, for some of you, whoever these individuals are, they may be seeking um, revenge, 
They could be very vengeful, okay? Wow. Heavy Pisces energy with the hangman and the high priestess. Both of those are um, Pisces. So it could be Pisces sun and or moon. So, yeah, so we have the tree. Yep, this is, um, they may be trying to affect your health as well, okay, with this uh, tree card. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I was about to call it. Um, but yeah, um, they could definitely be trying to cause a lot of confusion this is the seven of um, hearts, which would be the seven of cups. So they could definitely be trying to um, fuck with your health, you know, your body, your mind, your soul. Um, yeah, this person is needing to heal. Some of you could be in the process of healing. This person um, could be doing root work. Okay, because the tree card is about putting down roots as well. So this person could have tried to do some uh, sort of root work um, to try to make you uh, confused, make you seem like you don't know what you're doing, what you're saying, what you're talking about, or the root work to affect your um, health, your mind. Yeah, because I feel like whatever this is that you guys are doing, there's longevity in this. It's stable. And this person can't handle that. Let me see. Yeah, see, look, you're protected. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay? You are protected. That's the bear card. Okay? The bear is all about um, protection. But this person, um, the reason they're trying to cause confusion is because with the bear card, they see how powerful you are, you know, how much strength you have. And again, they're trying to um, cause instability with your finances. They're literally trying to take food out of your mouth. That's literally what they're trying to do. But this person sees how powerful you are. And this is also um, health as well. So we have two cards of health. Some of you could be going through health issues or problems. But this person may be trying to, you know, keep you down so that you don't heal. We have, yeah, so this is the um, ten of clubs. Yeah, this person is overwhelmed, burdened. They're feeling uh, very much so pressured, okay? Something about whatever this is that you guys have going on is triggering this individual and making them feel um, pressured. Because this person now has to look at themselves. And I feel like that's what they're being triggered to do, look at themselves. But the universe is saying, you're protected. Your mind, your body, your soul, your health, your finances, it's all protected. Whatever this person is doing is literally going back to them. This is what's making them even more so pissed. Yeah, see? Look. <laughs> Look at that. Clouds. Confusion. Yeah. They may be trying to um, cloud your judgment. Okay? With the clouds card. Yeah. They're trying to cloud your judgment. Wow. Trying to confuse you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because look on here is the, um, the king of clubs. Because you're confident. That's what they, they, they're trying to confuse you. They don't want you to feel confident in listening to your intuition. They don't want you to feel confident in your gifts or the work that you do. Or possibly your love life, your marriage, you know. 
they don't want you to feel confident in that. And it's because they're confused. They don't understand how you do what you do, how you are accomplishing what you are accomplishing. Yeah, so they're trying to cloud your judgment. Yep, trying to confuse you. But the universe is saying you're protected. What do we have? Look at that, the dog. Some of you could have a dog or this person has a dog. But yeah, <clears throat> for some of you at one point in time, um, you could have been loyal to this individual, but you may have seen that this person wasn't loyal to you. What do we have here? So this is the 10 of hearts, which would be the 10 of cups. Some of you, this could be family members, okay? Or they may be um, trying to fuck with your family dynamic. Like I said, you could have a family with this individual. Some of you... It could be your spouse. It could be your baby's father, baby's mother. Or some of you, like I said, it's family members. This person could be trying to cause confusion, you know, within the family. Some of you, this could have been a friend that was like family. And you walked away from this individual to find happiness, wish fulfillment, peace, joy. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, mm -mm 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 -mm. this person is salty, salty, yeah, and see the dog is also um, trust, protection, yeah, some of you could be a counselor. But see, the thing about it is this person can no longer rely on you. The dog is about support as well. This person may have wanted you to support them and you cut them off and then they no longer can get support from you. For others of you, you may have family as well as or this individual that doesn't support your goals, your dreams. They don't believe in the work that you do or, you know, your gifts. Okay, and it's because they can't fathom how you're doing what you're doing, you know. You know, it's funny because if these individuals had these gifts or they were gifted or this was the work that they did, it would be no issue or no problem. They wouldn't denounce it, they wouldn't say, Oh, I'm not doing this, you know. No, they do exactly what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? What's at the bottom? Look at that. We got the moon. And this is not... It's kind of, but it's not like... It's a little bit of different from the moon in um, the tarot, okay? This moon, um, the same aspect is, as the tarot is psychic. So some of you could definitely be psychic. This is psychic. This is intuition. This is also love and romance, okay? This is abilities, but this is also fame. So some of you, um, you may be famous or becoming famous. This is, you know, like high honors. This is creativity. Some of you are very creative. Yeah. Now, on the opposite side of it, that's this person very obsessed and wishing, um, this person is wishing to be famous or wishing for fame. So this person could absolutely be a clout chaser, okay? This person is trying to knock you down because you are leveling up. And whatever this is that you guys are doing, it may lead to some level of high honor or fame for you. And this person is wanting to or seeking to be famous. And because it's not working out for them, now they want to tear your shit down. They want to cause chaos and confusion. You know, this person wants to compete with you. Yep. And some of them, they want to compete for control. Meanwhile, there's no control. There's no competition. It's crazy. People be doing too damn much. People be doing too damn much. Some of you, this is a female. Okay. Or I'm speaking directly to a female. What do we have on here? Yeah, see? 
<laughs> you walked away. This is the Eight of Hearts, which is the Eight of Cups. And that's exactly, look, <laughs> both at the bottom of the deck. Okay, both at the bottom of the deck. They're being made to walk away. You guys already walked away, and they're being made to walk away. But they can't. They're so obsessed with you. They are so obsessed with you. Yep. You guys walked away, and this person can't handle it. They cannot handle the fact that you walked away. Let's see their archetype. And then we're going to wrap it up. Yeah. So for some of you, you may get a lot of recognition. Um, you may, um, you know, have accomplished something or gotten, gotten awarded for something, the work that you do or, you know, your gifts or something to that effect. Some of you, um could have been gifted something or you could be getting gifted something yeah this person they cannot handle that or take that they do not like to see the fact that you are shining and they're not so they want to try to ruin whatever this is that you have going on and this is what they're doing in secret Yeah, some of you are going to find out in Aries season. Some of you, it may be um, Gemini season. Yeah, but you're going to find out exactly what this person was saying or what they were doing. Or this is when, you know, they're going to try to, um, you know, start the drama back up. Start the confusion back up. Let's see. Look at that. <laughs> see? trickster absolutely freaking lutely trickster manipulating others through duplicity this person could be trying to um duplicate whatever this is that you're doing yep they could definitely be trying to trick others they could be trying to act like you they could be trying to copy you wow and then look at the bottom. We got advocate. Yup. Embracing negative causes or committing to causes for personal gain. Yup. And that's what this person is doing. Okay. That's exactly what this person is doing. Wow. Especially doing this spell work or whatever it is that they're doing to try to cause this tower. Yeah. It's for personal gain. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So we have, look at that, rebel. <laughs> oh my God. Rejects legitimate authority out of anger. Rebels out of peer pressure or fashion. Yep. Remember I said this person is feeling hella pressure? They're feeling pressured? Yep. And that's what it is. This, first, this person is feeling pressured to do something because they feel as though they're losing. They feel as though you're winning. Meanwhile, it's not even a competition, but this person is challenged. They are very challenged. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Look at this. We got child, divine. Wow. Some of you, hopefully it's not your child. Some of you could have adult children. Um, but nonetheless, this person is childish. They're childish and they need to grow up. And what the what the thing about it is, you are a divine child of God. Period. Period. So these gifts and whatever this is that you guys do, that you're working towards, is what you are divinely supposed to be doing. And this person cannot handle it. This person cannot handle it. Wow, this person's delusional. Mm-hmm. The child says, an inability to defend oneself against negative forces. And that's the thing. They doing all of this to you. Meanwhile, 
they can't even defend themselves. They can't even handle the towers that's taking place in their life. Crazy. Crazy. Yep. And now at the bottom we have king. Excessive feelings of entitlement. Yep. Rulership without restraint. Yep. So this person could definitely feel entitled to you, to your energy, to what you have. Okay? They they really feel entitled. And this is the reason why they're stuck. This is the reason why they're stuck. Because they feel entitled to either have what you have. To uh, do what you do. Your time, your energy, your effort, your finances. This person feels really entitled. So this person is in this trickster re uh, rebel energy. Okay. And they're trying to do whatever they can because you guys walked away. And they're trying to do whatever they can to get back into your energy. Yep. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So, this is what's going on behind the scenes, y'all. This is definitely going on behind the scenes. So, don't be surprised if you hear some bullshit. Okay, but I really feel like you guys are going to find out because this person may be trying to cause some arguments, some strife, some chaos, some confusion, whether it's in your home life, you know, your marriage, you know, within your love life, within your business, the work that you do. This person is going to try to cause some chaos and or confusion. Yep. But the universe is saying, guess what? Y'all are protected. You guys are in this for the long haul. Whatever chaos and confusion that this person is committed to trying to cause to you and in your life, it's literally being uh, rejected and it's really going back to that individual. And whatever fame it is that they were looking to get, it ain't going to be the fame that they thought. It ain't going to be that though. It's not going to be the attention that they had hoped to get. Okay? It's going to be whatever it is that they're putting out there, which is this low vibrational negative energy. So whatever it is they're projecting out there towards you, on you, is exactly what they're receiving back. So continue to protect yourselves. But I feel like you guys are about to find out who's trying to cause all of this chaos and confusion. Yep. Crazy. Just keep remaining your lovely. Continue to know that you got this because God got you. And whatever this trickster, this rebel, whoever this is, whatever they're trying to do, it ain't going to work. All right? So continue to remain your lovely. Continue to keep your vision tunnel. But most of all, be well. And I'll holler.